Today's show. I'm going to thank our listeners for the Eric Kate Ashley Olsen uh, picture gallery that they sent me. Dick Mother Heppers, man. Look, see? What they look like now. They're sporting the little nubs that Opie showed what they looked like uh, earlier. But, uh, yeah. And before you know it, yeah, they're, they're like little Britney spears things going on there. And I got to say, you're taking some major hits on this radio show today. Yeah, I, I understand. Uh, Keith from Seaford. Where was Ant's girl? Oh, that's right. You had to be 21 to get into the road show. <laughs> hey, she's 21. Shut up. <laughs> I love that. Not, she's over 21. Hey, she's 21. <laughs> Did anyone else pick up on that? Okay, good. Uh, Anthony. Uh, yeah. Mission Impossible 2. Ah. First of all, I'm very surprised that you would go see Mission Impossible 2. Why? Opening weekend, Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, well, I'm an ass. What can I say? I wanted to go to the movie. I wanted to see Mission Impossible 2. I avoided, I, I avoided the movie theaters like the play, man. Well, there wasn't really anything else I wanted to see. I pretty much saw everything else, you know? Gee, I saw a dinosaur. You know, I wanted to see Mission Impossible 2. I just hate going to crowded movie theaters. And I thought maybe it would be a, a movie where, uh, I don't know, it would have an ending that would be effed up or something, and, and the listeners ruin it for us now. It's not even like we do anything to movies anymore. The listeners, all of a sudden, I'll be scrolling through instant feedback, and bam, there's an end of a movie. I'm like, thanks. They're getting us back from uh, the six Star Sense. Wars and Sixth Sense Sixth thing. Sense thing. But there's really no surprise thing in uh, Mission Impossible. Uh, overall, uh, I, I didn't really like the movie. Uh, I didn't, I didn't I get to enjoy uh, the beginning of it. I, 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 you know, I might come off sounding a little, a little harsh here today, Opie. Okay. Sounding a little, uh, I don't know, politically incorrect. Talk to us, Ed. Talk to us. We're here for you. I went to uh, the Pavilion in in Brooklyn. <clears throat> went to go see Mission Impossible Two. With, with savages. <laughs> I'm not ringing the bell. I, 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 I didn't know I was doing a radio show with Bob Grant today. Savages! I can't believe it anymore! You g Gavon! Fachim! Savages! Yeah. This is me and my girlfriend trying to get out of the theater with our lives. <laughs> Quick, through the air duct! They're chasing us with knives! <laughs> Opie. Unbelievable. How come you can't go to a movie anymore without black people and Hispanic people losing their effing minds? Okay, I said it. I said it. Look, Stinky's freaking out. What, what? Even Spaz thinks I'm being a little much. I'm turning off the music. I'm going to carefully put my headphones down. And I'm going to tiptoe out of the studio. Whoa, 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 what? This is not a knee-jerk reaction to a one-time uh, one uh, thing. I don't believe this is something uh, that other people cannot relate to. And I am not condemning entire races of people for this. I am just saying this has been what I have observed for years. When you go to a movie theater in a predominantly white Long Island neighborhood, like I was raised for many years, okay? You go in, you sit, you watch the movie, right? If there's a problem with someone talking... You could turn around and say, excuse me, I'm trying to watch the movie. Oh, gee, sorry. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right? And, and, and it usually doesn't happen. For the most part. I mean, For the most part. I mean, nowadays, you get the cell phones. It's a pain in the ass. But play the other side. Sometimes you get in those theaters with uh, all the young kids are another thing. Right. Okay. Kids, no, no, they I'm could be white, black. Puerto Rican, I don't Dude, care. You're they're right. All, you're right. They're they're paying the ass. They you're think, right. They think the theater's there. You're right. I'm not talking about kids that don't are, are not supposed to know what the f they're doing. I'm talking about adults, people that are going to a public place to watch a goddamn movie, and act like effing animals, like beasts. Anthony. Yes. What happened to you? I go into the theater, mm -hmm. me and the girl, to go see Mission Impossible Two. Right? Sure. Sit down in a seat. All of a sudden, there's a group of uh, black people running oh. around the theater. What? Oh. I can't say that they were black people? Oh. No. I'm tired of it. 
a group of black... I will identify everybody, okay? Now I'll talk about white people. They were all sitting there fearing for their lives, okay? There, I covered the white people. Now I'll move on to black people. A group of black people roaming around the whole uh, auditorium trying to find seats. Fine, but they're being very loud, and I don't want them sitting in front of me. I could care less at this point if they were from friggin' Jupiter. They're being loud. I want to watch the movie. So I get up. And I move to the other side of the theater. I'm like, come on, we're moving. I move to the other side of the theater to get away from the boisterous people, regardless of their color. Okay? Is that nice? Sit down. Then they decide, the group of black people, that they don't want to sit there anymore. So they start roaming around the auditorium, taking seats in the back, then in the middle, and then in the side, the whole time being very loud. Disrupting the whole place. Uh, Anthony, can I interrupt you for a second? Go ahead, Opie. Stoner Matt, he, he uh, checks in a lot mm -hmm. on our show from Bayonne, New Jersey. Is it Spaz's Week in Review already? <laughs> and why is Anthony doing it? No, look. <laughs> okay, look, look. I am trying to tell you what happened yes. in plain English without... without without going around, uh, beating around the bush. All right. So this you, is what happened. So you were jumping from seat to seat in the movie theater? I moved once. I went from the right side of the auditorium. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. All right, I'm going to get a grappling hook on the vent, on the ceiling. I'm going to swing over. Hold on to me. <laughs> we got to get away from the loud people. How many times did you move away from the black people? Once. 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 No, I'll be for loud people. That... I just pointed out that it was a group of black people that were being loud. Okay. They sat down in the row right in front of us, and I said, no, I'm not going to sit here and try to watch a movie and, and listen to people yelling and screaming. So we moved to the opposite side of the theater. Same seat, but on the other side. <laughs> Your mission, Anthony, if you decide to accept it, is to get through this movie without one racial epithet going through your mind. <laughs> so. The pop corn will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Anthony. Dan from Jersey. Ding, 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 ding. No, I'm not That's dinging always... a goddamn thing. <laughs> all right. Why should I ding something when this is exactly what happened? And this is something that has bothered you for a while. For quite some time. Loud people or black people? Loud people. <laughs> so. Okay. So we move to the opposite side of the theater. To get away from to the... To get away from the loud black people. Loud black people. The loud people. So. Then they start... They keep moving. They're not satisfied with their seat. So they're moving. They're yelling. Uh, they're, they're sitting in seats. And then they're getting up. And then they're moving again. I swear to God, five times they did this. Finally, they settle. Where? Two rows in front of us. <laughs> Two rows in front of us. And now at this point, the theater is getting so full, there's no seats left. So we're stuck. I'm like, okay, whatever. At least they're one more row away than they were. <laughs> right? You with me so far? Dan from Jersey. You mean to tell me black people showed up late for something? <laughs> I'm just reading Stop. them. Okay, okay. I'm just reading okay. the instant feedback. So now... Don't kill the messenger. So now, okay, that's where I'm going to be sitting. Okay? okay? So I'm sitting on the aisle. So the right... Let me get you. Let me set the mood. Okay. There's the middle section. There's two aisles. The left section, the right section. I'm in the left section. I'm on the aisle. See, in the left section. Girlfriend sitting to my left. Okay? We are ready to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. A whole family... Of uh, uh, Hispanic people I'm in. come in. Yes. Why did your girlfriend go with you? Dinosaur was sold out. Or <laughs> <laughs> you're a smart ass man. <laughs> yeah, she's she's 14 years old. It's Mary Kate Olson. All right, it's out. Okay. All right. Start. I'm dating Mary Kate Olson. Okay. Back to your story. All right. Here we are. We're, so we're a set. whole a whole family of Hispanic people come in. And sit in the rest of the row that we are sitting in. So you got the Hispanics to your right? Yes. Hispanics to the to the left. Left. Because okay. I am left. as far Whoop. right as we could. Yeah. Left. Uh, and in the row in front. They're taking up that row. Well, and a couple of the seats in the back. Well, they're, they're baby machines. A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> well, Opie, 
there there were children with them. Children of three or five years old. Couple of children. Were they courteous enough to leave the chickens home? <laughs> no, there were chickens running around the boat. Can I please? <laughs> No, so okay. that so so that's uh, uh, what the seating arrangement Hispanics was. Hispanics left, yeah, in front. Black lab people also in front. The woman, Hispanic woman in our row, who was uh, taking care of these two children, um, did not shut up from the time she sat down until the confrontation. D you had a confrontation. Y yes, let me just say there was a bit of a confrontation, but. Let me let me just keep going. The the previews start up. She's yapping, talking to the effing screen. She's not shutting up. She's talking to her kids, and not in a, a low movie theater voice. Opie, she is at full volume. I'm stunned. I'm amazed. Other people, other white people, are looking at this woman like, could you shut up? But I will switch. But white people are very threatened. Very intimidated to say anything. So, so we don't. Because, you know something? You might have bodily harm done to you. That is the image everyone has, right? Right. Not necessarily true. Okay. Mission Impossible is playing now. Now it's the movie. Now I'm really, I want to get the story. Did you see the last Mission Impossible? Um, no. I didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did. I really didn't. You needed a friggin' slide rule and a calculator to keep up with the story. Right. So I don't want someone talking. I want to listen and, and work with the story. Okay. So, so you gave up on the reviews, like, whatever, they'll settle down after the reviews. Yeah. Okay. She didn't settle down. All right. She's talking like a mile a minute. Tom Cruise comes on. Here's what she's saying. And this is, this is how she was saying it. There's the man. There's the man. <laughs> Tom Cruise, there's the man. Oh, look at that S. She's using the S word, every other word out of her effing mouth. Now, oh, look at that S. Uh, the, like, they'll have a car chase, and like Tom Cruise will almost fly off a cliff or something. Like, oh, no. Walter, he the man. Look at that. Look at that. How loud, really? That loud? Dude, yelling. Yelling. <laughs> Star Juanita. <laughs> Star Juanita. <laughs> yelling. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Uh huh. Oh, you bet that. That's what I would do. Uh huh. That. <laughs> I paid to come in to see this friggin' movie with her yelling. That's what I paid for? Right. No, I wanted to see Mission Impossible 2. The whole theater is looking at, at in our direction. And you know they're just saying, shut the F up. Shut up. But no one had the balls to say No it. one would say anything. Except. Not me. <laughs> My girlfriend. Oh, oh, that's the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You All get right. put in the position. Ladies, you, you put us in bad position. I was when this you, close when you to are, When you're the one that does the conf confrontation thing. So, uh, Go ahead. Yeah, she turns and goes, do you think you could be <laughs> quiet? That's what she said. Do you think you could be quiet? Yeah. Well, at this point. <laughs> that's just not the so, thing So right now I'm like... Okay, now I go into assess the situation mode. Yeah. I'm looking. I got an entire family of Puerto Ricans to my left. They're taking up three rows. I am with my girlfriend. That's one family, by the way. That's, yeah, that's part of a family. So I, 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 and I'm sitting there like, oh, okay, now what? I'm trying to figure who's got the knives, who's got the gun. <laughs> um, now I'm, I'm really sweating. Because now you're like, I got to fight. Now I got to fight. Yeah, yeah. Because if something happened. That's so so she goes, she said, well, do you think you could be quiet? Yeah. Which I don't think is a, a big thing to say. Right. Now, let me bring back to what I was saying earlier. In a uh, suburban auditorium watching a movie, if someone's being a little boisterous and you turn around and said, do you think you be, could be quiet? You might get a, oh. But then you know something? That person will probably be whispering the rest of the movie if they have to talk. You never feel like your life is being threatened. Well, this bitch goes, maybe I will and maybe I won't. <laughs> so now I'm like, okay. Now, not only am I going to not watch the movie, but now I have to fear that I will be killed here in Mission Impossible. I'm going to be killed. And nobody will know because they're going to Yeah. Oh, I, so the, the, then the boyfriend looks at me. Right. So now I'm like, oh. So now... My girlfriend turns, maybe seeing there's danger in the air, 
maybe detecting my nerves are a little rattled at this point. There, there's an entire Hispanic family uh, getting geared up. <laughs> she turns and goes, can you just shut the F up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me catch my breath. <laughs> Can you just shut the F up? Yeah, yeah. Battle station, battle station. Dive, 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 dive. You ladies, you put us in bad positions sometimes. So, God damn. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, again, it's just left the tarmac. A deadly cargo in a valley. Little divots at the helm. So, uh, yeah. Could you shut the F up? So I'm like, oh. So now the chick stands up. <laughs> the, the, the Puerto Rican lady, uh, lady oh. stands, stands up. The boyfriend turns to me and goes, Oh, now you put her in battle mode. <laughs> like she's a friggin' transformer. She, I put her in battle mode. Even he went like, oh, that's it. Nothing I can do. <laughs> she in battle mode. Oh, well, how do you turn it off? Turn an off switch on the battle mode? Is she, is she married to a black guy, Anthony? Uh, no, it was just another Hispanic oh, guy. All right, you're, you're but they, well, no, I guess, well, let me say the accent, the uh, inflection on the voice yeah. sounded uh, very uh, black. Okay. It wasn't like, uh, it was a mixture between the Hispanic black uh, dialect, yeah. I think you would call that, Opie. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So I'm like, oh, boy, okay. So she steps over and goes, you, you, in this part, I had to bite my tongue from laughing with the fear in me. I almost laughed at this. She turns around and goes, why are you using that kind of language in front of, Opie, she was about 28 years old. Okay. In front of my grandkids. <laughs> the blood, the blood dripping off of my tongue from where I had to bite it to keep from laughing my cracker ass off. <laughs> That meanwhile she was like, ah, oh, it's this, it's that, all time crew, eat a right. man, it's, it's, it's. that kind of language yeah. in front of my grandkids. The kids five years old. Do the math. <laughs> do the math. Wow. I'm roaring. She goes, I ought to slap your face. I go, oh boy, here it comes. <laughs> so now, now I'm leaning over. Because my girlfriend's to my left at this point. She's between them and me. Yeah. So I, yeah. So now I lean, I lean over and I'm looking at her hand because if she has to swing it, I have to grab the hand, which means the boyfriend has free reign to just punch me in the face. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, okay, now I'm like diplomacy. <clears throat> Look, I think if you talk to anyone in this audience, they would want to watch this movie without hearing people yelling and talking. Do you think we can all do that? All of us. Let's sit and watch the movie. Yeah, well, maybe I'll be quite... So that back, she backed down, she sat down, high-fiving all of her relatives. Get out. High-fiving. Like, yeah, show the mother... <laughs> Can we all just get along? I was Rodney King. <laughs> so I'm sitting, now I'm trying to watch the movie. Forget it. Yeah, nice. I'm going to keep track of Mission Impossible 2. <laughs> Well, I have to worry if I'm going to get killed. And, and, I'm, I'm, and now I'm hearing every word they're saying. Clock. Switch plane. Switch plane. So I'm just like, oh, this is it. Yeah. I, 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 go, I go, no, let's go. I go, let's go. I'm getting out of here. I am going to get the money back that we paid to get in here. And before we leave, I will say to uh, an officer outside, that I believe uh, somebody has a gun in theater one, <laughs> row four to the left. Let them handle the fun and hijinks that uh, happen after that. Uh, the manager said, uh, well, another Mission Impossible is starting up in uh, theater two, uh, so you could go in there. I'm like, okay, let me give this a whirl. I walk in, it's almost empty, quiet, watch the whole movie from the beginning without a peep. It was great. 
but I was so friggin' pissed. I escaped from Theater One, Opie. We made our way through the air ducts and dropped down on some contraption with pulleys so we didn't touch the floor. And then we had a motorcycle chase through the lobby. Unbelievable. But this just leads me to my whole statement that I was making in the beginning of this. This isn't the first time this has happened. This will, will not be the last time this has happened. There is something that is just happens to people of certain ethnic backgrounds in movies, especially action movies like Mission Impossible. They got to yell at the screen. They're yell she was <laughs> Opie yelling. Does she? Uh, and I'm trying to get into her head thinking, does she think she's so important? And, and that everybody wants to hear what she has to say to her friggin' grandkids and her, her, her penis of the month that she's got next to her and, and whatever else. Uh, and her family, that it's that important what she has to say that I paid nine bucks to get in and listen to that? To listen to that C word babble over a friggin' movie? And it's not the first time. And I swear to God, there's plenty of yarmulkes in that audience, too. It's Brooklyn. It's Brooklyn. And I don't have a problem. They're not, you know, Oi, Vey, look at Tom Cruise. Ah! No. Yeah, that is hilarious. But people, and, so, and you know something? You want to break down the barrier. You want to say everything's fine. We can say we can address the issue and 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 say, do you think you could be quiet? Maybe not shut the f up, but you know, turn around and say, hey, you know, I'm trying to watch a movie here. We don't want to hear you talk, but you know something? You will be threatened with violence if you do that. White people, you hear me, white people? You will be threatened with violence. I have a dream yeah, today yeah. that we can watch Mission Impossible. Put out people yelling to their grandchildren in penis or the mom. <laughs> now call me what you want to call me. I know I'm going to hear it. But what am I supposed to say? This is what I see. This is what I have seen over the years. Anthony Joker from Jersey checking in. Anthony, if you want to avoid black and Hispanics, go to a bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll ring the bell. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break, obviously. Unbelievable. Uh, Ant, because of your little tirade. <laughs> Joe from Jersey. As my boss would say, <laughs> nine bucks, and it must have been four fifty for his girlfriend. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, after your tirade. Yes. Our, our, our boss likes to say tirade. Tirade. Uh, the phones are just absolutely... Yes, they are going crazy. So why don't we take a quick break and we'll let everyone in on this little uh, discussion. Okay, Anthony? <laughs> Bravo. That I need a, a drink. That's a great little... Now I more girls, more gooder. Hookers for everyone. You're